is quite bare in a way. We bring the tones, like a little bit of the eyebrows and the color of the skin, and we work with highlights. And also in the eye, we put like a beige pencil. inspired by was the seams in the garments, so there's a lot of open V's, so it's always going to be super slick and have a delicate kind of message. Because her clothes are so strong, I think hair's the best accessory. The clothes, they already have enough beauty, so I think, you know, natural makeup, of course the hair has a surprise in the back, it's natural as well in the front, but it's beautiful in the back. is um, terraforming. Uh, terraforming means creating a biosphere on another planet. And it used to be science fiction, but it's coming close. Uh, like they are working on people going to Mars and everything. And it's really my fantasy about how that new world would look like within silhouette, within materials. So that's the central idea of the collection. Some 3D weaves in the collection. It's been weaved flat and then with uh, steam it becomes three dimensional. There's a three dimensional knit that she has especially designed by an architectural student. Um, one of which is like a more of a mineral, more body hugging um, knit, and the other one is a lighter, cushioned, more grid like architectural knit. A beautiful dress like made of plastic just incredible beautiful on the body there's the wonderful textiles that Philip Beasley created again who's been her collaborator for the last two or three collections um, which are those kind of like extraordinary sort of black garden like lattices like very saturated spectral colors uh, sort of which give an, uh, an idea also of a sort of oil like sheen on the clothes was very much um, you know a, a predominant theme of the collection metal weave that you can see, we've been hand burning it with fire. So all the colors that you see in the collection are uh, created by fire only. So no painting, no dyeing. Uh, so each garment is really unique and even I would not be able to make the same garment twice because it's literally created with fire. 
what you see, the design that you see on it is in fact embedded, impregnated in the fabric three-dimensionally. It's not a print, so, and that's done by fire, so it's an elemental chemical process. That was 3D printed again. So there was a lot of 3D weaving and a lot of 3D printing in it. The shoes were 3D printed as well. And then they are molded around the foot uh, with laser cutting and leather. The collection is called Hacking Infinity. Infinity is very visible in the circular pieces because to me the circle symbolizes uh, the infinity. There's a reason why she won the Andam Award this year for, for her work. She's an exceptional artist and what we're seeing with this collection in particular is uh, the couture aspects, you know, really flowing into ready to wear, even though they're still, you know, incredibly creative, incredibly evolved and, and intricate garments and, and weaves and fabrics, it's, it's something that's actually wearable that you could see and experience on the street. <laughs> The show is actually about terraforming, which is the idea that um, we can in fact create a biosphere for another planet, which means that the infinite is hackable, that the infinite, we can inhabit the infinite. This space unfolding like a sort of a flower in front of us. <laughs> 